What is going on YouTube, Seth McComey here with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at into a deck that I am currently building. It is currently in the works, but for the most part it is kind of done. And if you are here in this video, you've already seen it. We're building two Dracos, my boys. And I'm super happy about this build for some reason, you know. I saw a Team Samurai's build. I've seen a couple of other deck lists before I actually purchased the cards myself. That's why I always recommend watching videos when building a new deck. And I came across some, you know, some really good card choices and, you know, I feel like I can give a little bit of my input on the deck and see how I can make it better for me. So feel free to use my deck list as a skeleton for your own deck. But for the most part, I'm just going to talk about my card choices, why I play each card and why some cards work well with this deck and why this deck has potential to be very very good in tournaments because it is currently topping and I really do like this new format there's decks topping left and right and True Draco is just one of them that stays consistently up there so that's why I decided to build it plus I got the deck for relatively cheap and I had very little experience prior to playing it but a buddy let me borrow his True Draco Invoke and I just fell in love with how the deck plays how much draw power it has and Masterpiece of how beast of a monster he is Masterpiece is a beast guys for the most part you guys are here to watch the video. Let's 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 get into the deck profile. Starting off with your win condition, you play double masterpiece. This guy is an absolute boss. He whatever you tribute, he's pretty much immune to against this weekend against Cosmos. I tributed a monster and a and a trap, and they couldn't beat over it. So triple uh, masterpiece, triple Majesty Maiden is what most of the time you're going to be tributing. She searches uh, any monster when a card is activated on the field. So most of the time I found myself switching into Masterpiece. One Ignis Heat to wrap up the True Draco lineup. So you play two Masterpiece, three Majesty Maiden, and one Ignis Heat, giving you a total of six True Draco monsters. I, I actually play that one Miriam because popping her with Diagram, it's, it's pretty easy. Plus you can destroy Majesty Maiden, Special Summoner if you need her. But I just mainly use her for that double Diagram search. For that double search with Diagram, so one Majesty Maiden. And for the from what I'm seeing is gonna be the MVP of this deck. Unfortunately, I'm proxying one since I let my friend borrow one. Is Amano Awado. He basically is a normal summon mo a spirit monster you normal summon that completely shuts off your opponent's whole board, like all monsters. Effects negated, no Ash Blossom, no Vortex Dragon, none of that stuff. That's why I think he's a really good card. And plus, I play him at two, not at three, because you you have so much draw power with this deck. You don't necessarily want to open more than one. And this deck is for going second. You know, your opponent establishes board. You summon your Amano Awado. Do all your searches. Do everything freely of Ash Blossom. That's why I think this card is awesome. And I think the guy who innovated this, his name was Kevin. He topped the regional. So shout out to you, man. That, that, that was an awesome. It just shows that, you know, here in the US, we are innovating decks. We're not just copying from the OCG. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, thank you for that one, man. Triple Terraforming, obviously. To search Triple Diagram. And diagram just basically is what gets all you gets you all your searches, gets the ball rolling. Triple true Draco heritage, you know you, you this is what you use to tribute some of your true Draco monsters. If you tribute the spells, it pops back row. If you tribute the traps, it drops it pops monsters, but for the most part this is like your draw power. As many cards as many true Draco cards as you pop on the field, that's how many draws you get when you activate this card. Remember it is once per turn. So for example you could activate diagram, set disciples, pop disciples to get your search, pop your opponents back row. And then maybe search to this, activate this, get that draw, you know, and then tribute it for one of your true Draco monsters. For the most part, uh, Heritage is your draw card and your and what you tribute for. Triple Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix, again, it just recycles. One, the Monarch Storm, fourth, tribute your opponent's monsters, and it is basically just for that for going second. Three, Potter Duality, absolutely love the fact that you can look at the top three cards of your deck and choose any one at your choice. So triple pot of duality. Two desires and one upstart. And triple card of demise. I am getting the other two in the mellow for the most part. I only have one right now. So but this card is absolutely awesome because you can set everything and then just and then just draw three with the mono water on the field. You don't have to worry about Ash Blossom. That's what makes him like so awesome. But yeah, just triple card of demise is Obviously, a uh, True Draco Demise build, so you gotta play Triple Demise. Triple True Draco Apocalypse, because you contribute it during the main phase and pop an opponent's monster. Uh, you can pop a True Draco monster and 
and pretty much have the attack of all your opponent's uh, monsters by half. So, yeah, triple, uh, True Draco Apocalypse. One True King's Return is your monster reborn. Plus, again, you can tribute Continuous Spells or Traps. And the Continuous Spells or Traps we play are Double Anti-Spell Fragrance, one the Monarchs are up, and one Skill Drain. We don't play an extra deck, so we play the Monarchs are up. Now, this ratio is completely up to you guys. You guys can play two the Monarchs are up. I like to play one and one. I just feel safe with that ratio. And, and in testing, I found that that's the ratio that works best for me. I don't want to open three Skill Drain and no monsters. I'd rather open enough monsters. I have enough search, search and draw power to where I can get to either one of these two if I need it. And finally, this was uh, one of the... I saw this from the idea of the guy who topped the, and the YCS, the biggest YCS in Europe one solemn judgment because again it, it all it is always licensed you're paying half your life points so why wouldn't you play a card that is always live i don't know i just think that was a great idea but for the most part that pretty much wraps it up for the main deck we play 40 cards and we play upstart so it kind of feels like 39 drawing that upstart just gives you another draw but yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for the true draco deck profile let me know what you guys think of the of the deck in the comment section below let me know if you like dislike it what you like about it if there's any card choices you would make if there's anything you would change with the deck, uh, I'm currently happy with the way I have it. Maybe after another another locals test, I'm going to go to y the San Diego Regionals this month. So, well, actually next month in March. So I'm going to take two Dracos and I'm hoping to do fairly well. You know, I kind of like the deck and just Masterpiece is a beast, man. Like, honestly. But for the most part, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the Tier Zero family. I'd love to have you guys. My name is Sesma. And I'm out.